Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be estimating quotients using compatible numbers. So the first thing we need to understand is what is a compatible number? A compatible number are numbers that are easy to compute mentally and are close to the exact numbers in the problem. So we're going to be trying to do mental math here. So first we're going to find compatible numbers by finding the multiples of the divisor that are closest to the dividend. So let's look at an example. So in this example, we have 172 divided by 4. 172 is our dividend. 4 is our divisor. So we're going to be looking for a number that's close to 172 that can be divided by 4. Now we're going to use our place value information and know that 172, we could be looking at 17 tens. So let's look at the number 17 and find a multiple of 4 closest to 17. So our multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We could keep going, but I know that 20 is right after 17, so I can stop right there. So I know my, my multiples that are closest to 4 would be my compatible numbers would be between 16 and 20. So I'm going to circle 16 and 20. So now I have to think, which number is closest to 17? 16 or 20? 16, correct. 16 is closest to 17. Now, my problem wasn't 17 divided by 4, it was 172. So that's the same as 17 tenths. So my new question needs to be closest to 16 tenths. So I have 160 divided by 4. So 160 is closest to 172. 160 divided by 4, I'm going to take my basic math fact of 16 divided by 4 equals 4, and 160 divided by 4 would equal 40. Now, if you need a refresher on that, we do have a video that talked about how to find, um, how to divide with multiples of tens, hundreds, and thousands. So if you need to go back and refresh yourself, go back, because we're going to be doing a lot of dividing with our multiples of tens, hundreds, and thousands. All right, so our estimate of 172 divided by 4 is 40. So our answer would be somewhere close to 40. Now, it's not going to be exactly 40, but it would be close to 40. Let's look at another example. This example says Mrs. Juarez's class donates 2,657 prizes for the treasure box. Mrs. Juarez makes prize bags by putting three prizes in each bag. Bill says that she will be able to make 853 bags. Is this reasonable? So, we've talked about before. If we see, is this reasonable? That tells us that we need to estimate. We don't need to know if he is exactly correct. We want to see if his answer, eh, if it kind of makes sense. So, we have the problem 2,657 divided into three into groups of three. So we're going to divide that by three. So to do this, we're going to find two compatible numbers for three. That 267, 2,657 is between. All right, so keeping this in mind, and multiples of three. So if I do multiples of three closest to 2,657, they're 2,400 and 2,700. So again, if I'm looking at 2,657, that's the same as 26 hundreds, and 24 hundreds and 27 hundreds are closest multiples of 3. So now I'm going to be multiplying both of those numbers by 3. So 2,400 divided by 3 is 800, and 2,700 divided by 3 is 900. So now my answer has a range. It would fall anywhere above 800 and below 900. So going back to my question, it says Bill said they can make 853. So since the answer is between 800 and 900, 853 is a reasonable estimate. Again, I don't know if it's correct or not, but it is reasonable. 
So to recap, if a question asks to use compatible numbers to find the estimate of the quotient, then you will find the closest compatible number. So for example, if we had 42 divided by 4, we're going to find the closest compatible number to 42 that 4 can go into. So I know in my multiples of 4 that 4 is the closest multiple, or 40 is the closest, closest multiple to 42. So 4 tenths or 40. So then I would divide 40 divided by 4 is 10. So 10 would be the estimate of the quotient 42 divided by 4. If I'm asked, if a question asks to find the quotient between, or if the answer is reasonable, then you're going to find the two compatible numbers that the dividend is between. So again, if we had 2,762 divided by 7, I'm going to find two numbers that are close, multiples of 7 that are closest to 27. So I know that 21 is a multiple of 7. So 2,100 divided by 7 would be one quotient that I would need to find. And I know that 28 is another multiple of 7. So 2,800 divided by 7 would be my next quotient. So then my answer would be somewhere between 300 and 400. Okay, so remember, we're going to be using compatible numbers to estimate, um, either using just the closest compatible number or finding the two nearest compatible numbers to find our answer. I hope that you found this video very helpful. Click below if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more lessons at mathmaniac-4thgrademath. Have a great day.